there is a you may have heard of it it's been out but it's still fairly new to new std called mycoplasma genitalium this causes infertility in both women and men seems to be some new thing coming out to every six months now i think uh people should be careful just in how they deal with people uh, a lot of people now are just out here kind of uh i'm trying to be clean for youtube uh, people out here being random and um i'm just saying being random it comes with risks i'm not making any judgments as people can fall into all kinds of uh you know temptations or weaknesses but this particular uh std has been already been said to be resistant to bugs i mean resistant sorry to uh treatments right so you have to be careful uh, even if you are being careful i guess sometimes you know you may be exposed by somebody else but this is basically uh new new ish right it's called mycoplasma genitalium uh, it causes uh, pain bleeding and swelling been linked to infertility and miscarriage all right it kind of flew under the radar but it seems as if it's uh been seen more often with the surge of the other stds that had gone down but now it's re resurged like uh, chlamydia and gonorrhea okay, but this one it hasn't had a, it had, doesn't have a specific uh, treatment for it right they just use the same drugs they use to treat um, other STDs right but they're calling for more research for it uh, it basically it has asymptomatic and symptomatic issues it leads to severe complications uh, in both men and women it can call urethritis uh, swelling irritation of urethra it's also associated with cervical swelling pelvic inflammatory disease miscarriage uh, preterm birth and infertility and uh, it's basically really high risk and when it comes to birthing if you experience this disease uh, it's got a lot of symptoms again um, they're not exactly clear how prevalent it is but it's probably shown up enough to warrant concern and they've actually CDC has actually uh, put more emphasis on researching this particular bug and the symptoms again include a lot of pain and discomfort while urinating abnormal discharge in both genders and lower abdominal pain or bleeding uh, for women they say as many as 20% of sexually active women and 16.5% of sexually active men between the ages of 15 and 24 may be infected with this. You know, I did read something recently that said uh, there has been an increase in sexual activity in that age bracket, 15 to 24. It wasn't like this not too long ago. I mean, the sexual activity had gone down. Well, I think in, in, in the older age brackets, it's definitely gone down. Like, I think between uh, 19 and 29. But now, uh, 15 to 24, which the younger age bracket is probably it's been going up recently. This is recent, which is uh, pretty interesting. Some of these stats, they seem to overlap or conflict. And they say, like, chlamydia just ranges from 4% to 7% to seven percent, basically, depending on location, which is uh i would think four to seven percent is pretty low but this other mycoplasma genitalium is pretty uh, seems to be overtaking things i wonder how did that come about it just seems like to pop up out of nowhere it's basically affects pregnancy complications but i wonder how it sh just showed up under the radar now it's just now people worrying about it i wonder did, did it mutate between chlamydia and gonorrhea or something uh this is it's kind of wild uh, they're able to prevent the infertility when it comes to chlamydia and gonorrhea because they've it basically studied those of much more but this particular mycoplasma genitalium seems to be just uh according to new research just kind of wreaking havoc 
and it's also said to be resistant to bugs right it's resistant to the treatment of the z pack treatment there's another bug i mean another bug another treatment they use called azithromycin a z i t h r o m y c i n and according to cdc this has been resistant to those bugs i mean i keep saying bugs the bug has been resistant to those treatments and they say they use another antibiotic called moxiflozacin flozacin it's m o x i f l o x a c i n they say that's uh, been effective but it causes serious side effects which makes it risky for pregnant women so again i would say people should be careful um, in how they move about uh, sexually or in their intimate lives uh, a lot of people are just um, run the gamut with their behaviors. I mean, some are some of us are very uh, conservative, and others are very uh, liberal, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, again, this these infections are out here, and uh, it's time for people to use more precaution. Um, I know. You know, some people get caught in the moment, I guess, and some of them you lose all judgment. Maybe <laughs> when your hormones are released in your brain, some people tend to forget. But let's try to be more conscious about uh, what we're getting involved in. But right now, there's very few treatments for this infection, so you really have to be careful. It's quickly develop resistance to every antibiotic. Right, every antibiotic has been used to treat it, it's been resistant to. So that's a problem, right? So what do you do? They just, I'm trying to figure like, what do they do when they say they just wait it out? I know with some other STIs, now they're looking into gene uh, treatment. This gene treatment has been used for everything, cancer, um, all kinds of cancer, all kinds of, uh, diseases or all kinds of maybe mental illnesses they've been using gene treatment now it just seems to kind of which is good i think gene treatment has kind of dominoed or evolved into touching every type of disease and i read that they're experimenting in a gene treatment when it comes to stds i think it was mainly chlamydia right now but it looks like they might have to use it for this this mycoplasma genitalium because this is the the one that's kind of the new kid on the block is just, just knocking everybody out, basically knocking all the other infections out of play. Um, they say they've already got, you know, untreatable infections. There are people always were already walking around with untreatable infections, which is a concern. That's disturbing. Uh, they say it may be on its way to becoming completely resistant, right? Until scientists find new treatments maybe again they should look into this gene treatment that they've used with the uh, chlamydia or I don't know I mean I guess they got to keep researching right but again something to think about again mycoplasma genitalium uh, be careful um, read up on it I'm trying to read up on it and be safe thank you so much for listening I appreciate your time please 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 like and subscribe